Welcome to this session. In this session, we will explain you about Pragmatic Open ERP on Amazon Web Services. Pragmatic Open ERP is a pre-configured, secured, optimized and ready to run image for running Open ERP on Amazon EC2 in a production mode. Firstly, we will explain you how to launch your instance on Amazon Web Services. Following are the steps you need to follow. On your Amazon EC2 console, click on Launch Instance. AMI is available in AWS Marketing Place, also in Community AMI. For Community AMI, select Region, North Virginia. Enter AMI ID and press Enter. You will find Pragmatic Open ERP AMI available Click on select button. Choose instance and configuration of your choice. Configure security group as shown and thereafter click on review and launch your instance successfully. Now copy your public IP and paste it on the browser as shown in the video. You will be directed to the following Open ERP page. Thereafter, you can start using Pragmatic Open ERP for your organization successfully. We have installed additional modules which are essential for your Open ERP system. The first additional module installed is named as Audit Trail. To find Audit Trail, you need to go to Reporting and see audit options. The module lets administrator track every user operation on all the objects of the system. The second additional module installed is called as database backup. You need to set folder path under backup folder path option under the settings tab. It is used for taking backup of databases on regular inter the third additional module installed is named as AuthCrypt. By default, Open ERP saves password in plain text. The AuthCrypt allows you to save password in encrypted format. The fourth additional module installed is called Auth LDAP. To find LDAP, go to Settings, Companies and click on your company and set your configuration LDAP parameters. The module allows users to log in with their LDAP username and password and will automatically create open ERP users for them on the fly. The fifth module installed is called base action rule. To find base action rule, go to settings, find technical and click on automated actions. The module allows to implement action rules for any object. Use automated actions to automatically trigger actions for various screens. The sixth module installed is named as Base Import. You can find options in various forms depicted as Import. The module is used for importing data from user's CSV file. To import, click on the option Import and choose your CS. Seventh additional module installed is called as base setup. To find base setup, go to settings, see configurations and find general settings. The module helps to configure the system at the installation of a new database. The eighth additional module installed is known as base status. To find base status, go to sales and find phone calls. Timeline tracking of actions for leads can be done with this module. The ninth additional module installed is called as Base VAT. To find Base VAT, go to Settings, Find Companies, click on your company and check the option for Vice VAT Check. The module allows you to configure VAT number depending on the country. Tenth additional module installed is called Dashboards. To find Dashboards, go to Reporting and you can see Create Board Reporting option under Configuration. Click on the option and Create Dashboard. 
user can create custom dashboard and add data to it according to his needs. The 11th additional module installed is called contacts. To find contacts, go to messaging and you can click on the contact option available under organizer. You can create, delete, modify contact information using the contact option. The next module installed is called web shortcuts. The module is used to create shortcuts for menus used frequently. To add a shortcut, go to any tree or form view, click on the star button and then you can see your selection under the shortcut. The last module installed is called as warning. To go to warning, go to each partner and click on the warning option. The warning module gives the warning on activities. Warning messages can be displayed for objects like sale order, purchase order, picking and invoice. Hope this information will be beneficial for your organization and your system. For any further assistance you can contact us. Thank you.